Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla Chase. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing y'all how I use my Bento Beauty Oil on my Silk Purse. So, um, my scalp isn't dry or itchy or anything. It's been three weeks. Um, I don't know. My scalp hasn't been dry or itchy or anything like that. I did use the Myel Scalp Treatment Oil on my scalp. Um... And then one week I did use the Benta Beauty Oil on my scalp as well. So I'm just going to shake it up. Give it a good shake. So yeah, now that it is all shaken up, this is what it looks like. It has all the good little nutrients in it, things like that. So I am going to apply it to my ends. So I'm going to show y'all my ends. Um, my hair is color treated and I haven't really been doing much to my hair since I had a silk press or since I got my hair silk press. So as you can see, the ends looking kind of dry and that's only because my hair is one color. Okay, this is not the natural color that my hair is and it's um dry so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of oil to my palm and it smells oh it smells super good so i'm just going to apply it to my hair like so and I only need this to last, um, I only need this silk press to last until Saturday because, yeah, I'm going to wash my hair on Sunday. Today is Monday. Is today Monday? Yeah, today is Monday. So, um, I just need one, I just need my silk press to hold out for one more week. But as you can see, like... It's been a month and my stuff look good. Like I got my silk press. I got my hair done August. I got my hair done in July 10th. It is now August 1st and my hair still looks damn good. Okay. Shout out to For You I Style. I absolutely love him. He's going to be my new LA stylist. Like no for real. It's gonna be my new LA stylist. Anytime I want color, anytime I want a silk press, he is going to be the one to do it. If he's not busy, you know. What I mean? uh, but yeah, he is going to be the one to do it because I don't know. I like sticking with one person. Like I have a stylist in Atlanta. She is my cousin Aisha. Um, Hairbeat ATL. I absolutely love her, and now I have my LA stylist for you. I style. Anytime he's here, he will be doing my hair. Um, I do want, like I said, I do want to go lighter. I want to color my hair lighter, so we're gonna be doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, that is how I take care of the ends of my hair because the ends are the oldest part and because i do have color so if you have color bro you have to make sure you're doing the necessary steps to color i mean to um take care of your hair like you have got to make sure you are taking care of your hair when your hair is color treated you cannot just lollygag you cannot be like colored hair is not for lazy naturals it's not for lazy naturals at all. You have to make sure you are on top of your shit when you have color in your hair, okay? Or that shit will break off, okay? So, just, you know, you have, you can't be a lazy natural with color. If you thought you was going to be a lazy natural with color, baby, you better sink again. You better sink again. Um, so, yeah. I am going to do a color treated video because I think people need to, um, 
just be aware and doesn't it look better like look don't the ends look better now they look more moisturized they don't look dry or anything like that so yeah 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 benta beauty oil one of my favorite oils like i said i will leave you a link to where you can purchase it is definitely one of my favorite oils i love the my i love all my oils honestly but this one is more so my favorite especially for hair growth um the Maya oil is good for hair growth, but I don't use that for hair growth. I use that more so to soothe my scalp because I have dry, itchy scalp. So I use that one to soothe my scalp rather than grow my hair because my hair is already going to grow regardless. And I just continue to use my Benta Beauty for hair growth. So this is the oil that I use for hair growth. The Maya Rosemary Mint Treatment, I use that more so to, you know, treat my scalp to treat to treat the itchy the itchiness okay um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is kyla latrice um my giveaway congratulations to aubrey she won my giveaway i will be shipping her stuff out this coming weekend because car issues can't really get it out can't really you know leave the house like i want to so yeah can't really do that but congratulations to aubrey she won my giveaway um and do i have anything else to say i'm trying to think oh yeah don't my hair look like a wig kind of sort of with my um it is laid uh yeah my hair kind of looks like a wig if y'all want any, if y'all want me to, um, if y'all ever have any video suggestions, you can always just let me know, comment it in the comment section, or you can definitely, uh, DM me on Instagram. I always do video suggestions. Like if you have a video suggestion, I would definitely get it out. So yeah, but like I said, um, curly hair content is definitely coming soon i have to let this silk press go i haven't washed my hair in like we're going on a month which i can go longer but it's because it just looks so good like i can literally go longer if i wanted to but i miss my curly hair one and two i need to wash my hair i don't i've never gone a month without washing my hair I always wash my hair once a week, but I really, really like this silk press. So I was like, you know what? Let me let me see how long we can go. You feel me? Uh, but yeah, my hair still looks amazing. Like, it's it, my hair still looks amazing. I'm like baffled. Um, but yeah, I do need to let this silk press go. When am I going to be straightening my hair again? Well, probably when I go to Atlanta. I don't know, because I want my cousin to do my hair lighter. Like, I want it lighter than this. This is cute, though, but I want it lighter. Um, so, yeah, probably I'm going to... I'm probably going to straighten my hair again. You know what? I don't know. I have to see where my hair is. Most likely, I'm going to straighten it again. But I have to see where my hair is. Like, is it... Do I have heat damage or anything like that? But even if I do have heat damage, I'm most likely still going to straighten my hair. But I don't want to say that. But I know... I know if I go to Atlanta and my cousin does my hair, I'm going to get it straightened again. Because I want color. So, And I don't know. I don't be wanting to do... I don't know. Because two... The only re I feel like the only reason my silk press even lasted this long is because there is no humidity in California. Georgia is a different story. Humidity is all up in the air, so I don't know. I have to see. I I just gotta see what the weather looking like, cause I ain't we ain't finna be playing. Uh, so yeah. That is the only reason why I feel, feel like my silk press has lasted this long. Had I had been in Georgia. And the dry shampoo. The dry shampoo did play a 
huge part of my dry shampoo. I love my dry shampoo. Waterless dry shampoo. I love it. Try that line out. Um, at Sally Beauty. As well as their hair. I have a whole video on what I use to keep up my silk press. So y'all make sure y'all watch that video. Okay? Okay. Um. All right, I ain't got nothing else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kyla Trees, and I'll see y'all in my next video. I will leave the link to where you can get this oil. My fave. Peace.